Uh, hi everyone, um, I'm back and I wanted to talk a little bit about Star Atlas. I got into it after playing games on Ethereum. And what I've come to find out is when you play on Ethereum, you can kind of play the game, but you have to have a lot of money. I mean, it is insane. I got on Gala Games, if you've heard of that. Um, it has Ethereum as a bridge, and it's almost unusable. If you want to transfer anything off of Gala and move it back into your wallet or put something on the market, uh, your $5 NFT is going to cost you $105 to sell it. It's, it's just Ethereum's unusable. It's so expensive. You have to be almost a an accredited investor in order to be able to touch it. Um, unfortunately, I am not that guy. I don't make a whole bunch of money, and twenty dollars to play a game that's expensive to me. Um, what I love about uh, Star Atlas is that I can come in here and I can play, and I can actually do stuff in the game and it doesn't cost me a whole bunch of money um, so I'm not guilty at the end of the night thinking oh I just drained a hundred dollars out of my bank account you know I might play all night and it only cost me maybe a penny um, so if if you're like me and you want to play crypto games and you don't have an unlimited bank account uh, Star Atlas is awesome um, anyway, I just wanted to kind of give my thoughts on playing Star Atlas on Solana versus playing any game in Gala on Ethereum. <sighs> I'm biased, but then I'm also poor, and uh, I, I just, I can no longer play on Gala, which is unfortunate, but what's also fortunate is that Solana has a lot of awesome things, and Star Atlas is one of them that's actually usable. I can actually play the game. Anyway, I don't know if this helps anybody, but I had to get that off my chest. Thank you.